Good morning, everyone. It is, um, what is this, October 3rd, and uh, this is another update for you. Um, I have been incredibly uninspired um, the last couple of months, so I haven't gotten too far on it, but um, certainly, stop it. Um, doing these posts periodically like this, it does show some progression. So I'll I'll get right into the statistics for those of you that like it and obviously the little dog um likes it. Stop. All right. So I have completed row 125 and for those of you that may be new, stop. This is um I'm working from the bottom up. So the entire piece is 430 uh, beads rows across. So going across like this. Uh, many people ask what this red line is. It's just some, some beads that I never use that I make a stabilizer. Stop. Stop. Sorry about that. Uh, Okay, let's see if this will connect. I think it's me talking to you guys that he uh, uh, he thinks that that's me talking to him. So anyway, when you have threads that are, you're going to see my dirty closet, uh, that are so tall, there's lots of play in it. Uh, this... These two wing nuts on this side and the other side um, help with the tension, but still it's um, the individual threads can sometimes be real flippy floppy. So uh, the stabilizer just kind of gives me an area that I can work that uh, between it and the um, and the and the uh, the uh the piece there's less flopping around uh and this moves easily enough so um i can i can move it as i go along uh so anyway back to statistics so this one is 300 beads across 430 rows right now i'm at row 125 which means that I'm 29%-ish done. So about a quarter of the way done plus a few. Uh, this piece is utilizing 97 colors. And uh, so far, I have installed 37,500 beads on this. So you know the... Um, uh, the numbers to plug in on how to find how many beads I'm going to use with the whole thing because it's 300 rows across, 430 beads. That's going to come up to about 129,000. Um, there is, some of you may see that there are some uh, uh, gaps like this right down in the corner, easily fixed because the beads float in the little frame that you make them. So I can easily come along and uh, move these beads. And once once this comes off the loom, um, I let it rest. I don't tie any of the warp ends. I just um, allow them to uh, float and expand and contract as they needed. And then once it's off the loom and the pressure has been uh, taken off of it, then the um, the thread that I use um, on the warp and the weft has a chance to relax. And uh, it's, it's not real stretchy, but there's a little bit of stretch in it. So this just gives it a chance uh, to go back to where it's comfortable. Um, and I use a big square to make sure that everything is square because I can definitely see like the corner down here is is not square. 
but that will be all remedied. Uh, fix it in post, I guess you would say. This right here is just shadows. Um, it tends to not lay completely flat. And there is a warp thread problem about in here that it's not a problem problem, but it's just a challenge. Um, so there we are at 125 rows. I've been trying to post once a month, but um, as you'll see, I have missed some. And again, you know, if if the muse isn't talking, then uh, this is almost an impossible job. Uh, it's a hard job even when the muse is, you know, singing her her most beautiful song. I still have trouble. This really looks crooked. It is crooked, but uh, <laughs> uh, it's like, I could do that and make it look better, but then I'm holding the camera at a little bit of an angle, and a little bit of an angle is sometimes a degree makes all the difference. So I'm not, again, I'm not too worried while I'm doing. Uh, this is coming along uh, splendidly. I love the detail in this one. Uh, I think I talked about this before, that this is the the subject's arm, and this is like a, a ribbed sweater that's kind of wrenched up. Um, you know, as you do with your sweater if it's a little too warm. And I can see both the wrinkles. So the lighter colors are are uh, showing the peak of the little mountain. And then the darker colors show the valley. Uh, so you can see both that. And you can see the ribbing coming through, which... It was kind of a happy surprise as I was going along. I realized, oh, gee, look at that. So, um, again, I'm keeping it quiet, but some of my nerdy friends will know. Uh, this keyboard over here is turning out great. Um, um, and I better not say too much or I'm going to give it all away. Uh, it's not a secret secret, but... Uh, I, I just, it's a superstition. I just don't want to show what it is I'm working on and let it come alive. Usually when I get to the face, then, uh, it takes on a lot of its own. Anyway, that's plenty of yammering for this morning. And, uh, I love questions. Questions are great. They tell me what it is that I could do better or what I could address. Um, like the video. Uh, that always helps to tell YouTube, hey, people liked it. Maybe we should show it to other people so they, maybe they would like it too. So uh, like it, subscribe. You can share it if you want, as long as uh, nobody shares it and claims that it's their own, then uh, I'm okay with that. So like, subscribe, share, comments. Those are the big ones. Uh, and again, uh, I don't know what I was going to say. I lost it. But anyway, so this is Bead Weaving Project, 125 rows out of 430 done. Talk to you next month. Bye.